further now. Here's Derek with the details. Hello, Shamai. 17 Celsius in a few places today, but colder everywhere by Thursday. Temperatures no higher than 9 Celsius with Arctic winds. Tonight, generally dry, a few mist and fog patches, some low cloud. And where the sky remains clear, it will turn chilly with a ground frost, the lowest temperature around 2 or 3 Celsius. Tomorrow then, mist and fog patches will lift and clear during the morning. Some sunshine, but not everywhere. There will be some cloud as well, with scattered showers breaking out during the afternoon. These hit and miss though, so a lot of places will stay dry. A little cooler than today, with a light to moderate breeze. Across the rest of the UK, tomorrow rain in southern England will clear. Some low clouds and fog for eastern counties. Elsewhere, sunny spells and scattered showers. Some rain and hill snow in Scotland. The high around 14 Celsius in Bristol. Now on Wednesday into Thursday, a cold front will move southwards, taking some rain, sleet and snow with it. Uh, behind that, colder winds from the Arctic will cover the whole of the UK by Thursday. So for Wednesday, a dry and bright start in the south, but cloud and rain will spread from the north during the day, turning to sleet and snow on higher ground in the north later as that cold air arrives. Colder for all of us on Thursday and Friday with a mixture of sunshine and a few wintry showers and watch out for Jack Frost. Good night. And that is Words Today. Thanks for watching. Have a good night. Looking too bad at all. We do have a few showers in the forecast, but in general, some fairly lengthy dry spells. Also, temperatures on the rise through next week. We have some 16s, 17s in the forecast. Now, today has been quite mixed. We did start off with plenty of dry and sunny weather, but then the cloud bubbled up, and so did those sharp set showers. If you look closely, you'll see some lightning strikes on the map. These are mainly across parts of Powys, Cardiff, Newport and the Vale of Glamorgan, so on top of those thundery showers. We also saw some hail mixed in, this picture taken in Neath Port Talbot. So through this evening and overnight, we'll still have some sharp showers with us, so still the risk of some hail and rumbles of thunder. A little bit of winteriness possible on the highest ground too. The wind's mostly light to moderate and a cold night too, the risk for some frost and icy stretches, especially where we've had some daytime showers. Into tomorrow then, a ridge of high pressure building in, that's going to push the air down and those showers tomorrow shouldn't be as active as the ones we've seen today so expect a scattering of showers then just a few locally heavy some sunny spells areas of cloud the winds mostly light to moderate from the northwest and temperatures getting up to around 12 degrees celsius not too much going on through saturday night due to that bridge of high pressure so most of you should just expect dry clear and cold conditions and once again that does mean the risk for some frost and some icy stretches on any untreated surfaces. Then on to Sunday, we have low pressure out to our west, but that should stay at bay until the early part of next week. And so another largely dry day in store. Cloud will tend to thicken as the day wears on and a change in wind direction too. So more of a southeasterly, that breeze will pick up through the day and temperatures as a result, a touch higher up to around 13 degrees Celsius. Some rain in the forecast early next week and then temperatures as you see on the rise. Have a lovely weekend. Nick. Sabrina, thank you very much. That is Words Today. I'll be back after the uh, 10 o'clock news. Hope you can join me then. Thanks for watching. Have a good evening.